Hi everyone and welcome to Mixed Media Morsels Layers of Fun. I'm here to pull the prompts for March so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to pull the prompt for the background color first. Just one of those and it's going to be ink. So we're going to use ink to add some background color. All right, and then next is glue something. I'm going to pull two prompts for this category. Okay, here's the first one. Painted papers. Now those of you who were here last month might remember that we had painted papers over in this category <laughs> to add for the background. I decided to use that particular prompt twice and you might see that throughout the year where I've used the same prompt but in a different category because sometimes they can be used in different ways. All right and so the next one is sticky notes. So that that's something we can glue down. You know there's plenty of little decorated sticky notes um, around nowadays and you can also find solid colored ones anywhere too to glue down. Those are very easy to come by. All right, so the next one is um, make marks. So let's see what kind of mark making we're gonna do. All right, here we go. This one, ooh, a found item. So y'all know what this is. You can f use a found item like a, a jar lid or a bottle cap and you can dip it in paint or ink and make marks or a shelf liner you can dip in ink and stamp it you know like a stamp so that's the general idea of where that one's going so I'm gonna leave the um, leave the item up to you whatever you want to use okay and then this next one is ooh, mesh okay so mesh can be anything from like drywall tape to a piece of window screen, <laughs> um, any kind of crisscross, you know, mesh, <laughs> um, and make marks with it. It's so fun. I've done it plenty of times, and I know probably a lot of you have too. So um, yeah, that's going to be fun. All right, good. So I'm going to gather my stuff and um, figure out just what I want to use, and then I'll be back and we'll share the page making process. <laughs> okay, let's play. I'm having some yummy lemon ginger tea right now. <laughs> Very good. We're gonna start with the ink to put some color on the background. I'm gonna put my little deli papers in here just to protect everything. All right, so as far as the ink goes, you can do any kind of ink you want. You can use a product you haven't used in a long time, like maybe you have some ink tense pencils or ink tense blocks. Those would be perfectly acceptable for adding some color to the background. Also, um, if you have some India inks in the little bottles, kind of like this one, you can use something like that. Any kind of markers have ink in them and I'm going to use the markers today because I'm going to do some smushing. <laughs> so I'm just using these really inexpensive washable markers from Crayola. This technique will work with any kind of water-based marker. It may not work so well with a permanent type marker but these are perfect to do smushing and have fun. So I'm going to use some pink ones and the reason I'm using some pink ones is because you know I used a piece of painted paper last time and so this time I thought I might want to use some of these orangey yellow pink colors or you know the section front that has those colors in it. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use it just yet but that's what I'm thinking about for my for my painted paper. So I thought, why not make a little bit of, you know, 
smushy color on the background here. So what I'm doing is, and you guys might have, might remember I did this last year in our journal for the Misfit Makeovers, but you just take a piece of plastic. It doesn't matter what kind. It can be a piece of a transparency. Uh, this is packaging, uh, product packaging. It could be a Ziploc baggie from the kitchen, you know, anything like that. Now, I will say that the product packaging is a little bit sturdier, has a little bit more heft to it when you're picking it up. Uh, a kitchen baggie will tend to kind of flop over a little bit because it's a little bit less, has a little bit less substance to it. But you can still do the technique, you just might not be able to pick it up. In that case, when you have to use something flimsy, like maybe you just have a piece of plastic wrap, like saran wrap or something, you can always put the color down, squirt it with water, and then just turn your book over on top of it so you don't have to even pick up the, the, the plastic if you don't want to. It's up to you. However it works for you best, that's what you should do. Got my water bottle here. I'm going to set this aside since I am going to be spraying. I don't want all of that to get, I don't care if this gets something splattered on it, but I don't want that to get splattered. <laughs> okay, so let's just start uh, making some scribbles. I'm just doing this in a couple different areas, these two colors. One's lighter, one's darker. So my pages are not, you know, that big. So the darker one is dark, so I don't want to overpower it too much, I, I don't think, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so just a bottle that just does a light mist is, is easier to use than a, something that really pours a bunch of water on your, on your paper or your plastic. So I'm just going to turn that over and smush it. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. <laughs> That is so pretty. So I'm going to do it again for the other side. It's pretty wet. I better, I better wipe it real quick and then go again because I don't know how my markers are going to work if it's too wet. Like it wasn't wanting to put down much color or I couldn't see it. And it won't drip and run off as long as you don't have too much water on it. It, it does pretty well. Smushing it down. That is just so fun. And you can pick it up and there's little remainders on there. You can continue to add color here and there wherever you needed some. Maybe didn't get some in a place, it's in a spot, so <laughs> you can just keep using it. So now we have that done. So I'm going to dry this so that I can keep going. And then the special little bonus that you end up with is the nice little crinkly pages because it got wet. So now it's <laughs> nice and crinkly. All right, so now we have our ink done. So the next thing that I'm going to be thinking about is putting down some painted papers and then maybe using some marks. My sticky notes I'm going to save for last because I'm going to make a little focal image with that. So we will start with some tearing out some paper here. Let's see. I'm just taking away this beautiful bit here. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. I, I had so much fun um, getting this from something I was creating on top and this was just the excess that was being scraped off of my papers and onto this background paper. Isn't that neat? And I just get this roll of paper. It's a white, it's thin, and it's like um, just like a children's drawing paper and it comes on a roll so I can just tear off as much as I need and I can put it down on my 
worktop when I'm going to do a, a messier project like that that I want to capture the excess on so it's perfect so I believe I have a roll of that in my um, Amazon uh, storefront so check that out if you're interested in having some you know fun little roll of paper it'll last a long time because it's a nice little roll I can't remember how long it is but it's a great little thing to have on hand to use for drop paper all right so just tearing out this big chunk that's got the colors on it that I'm thinking about using. The rest I'm setting aside and I will of course be playing with that at another time. I'm going to be using um, yellow sticky notes. Boy, I'm still messing these up, aren't I? They work out real well with the little bit of yellow that's on here, so I like that. Matches up real well. And then this um Trying to think, what do I want to do actually? I'm going to have a little think while I finish my tea. Okay, oh, and look at my, look at my pretty little mug. I got this as a Christmas gift. Uh, one of my daughters got it for me. Love it. This, where it looks brown, is gold. So I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So I can't put it in the microwave or anything, but I do absolutely love it, and I love the inside color of it and everything. <laughs> Okay, back to the business at hand. I think I want to put a chunk of this in the middle here and maybe some pieces here. But I like this here for what I'm going to do with my sticky notes. So for now, I'm just going to kind of tear this in half. Okay. Okay, so on our mark making portion, we're going to use found items and mesh. So I wanted to talk about that just a little bit so that if you're not sure what found items are, I can give you some ideas. Okay, this is just a little bottle cap. Came off of something I don't remember what. Could have been hairspray, medicine, I don't know. But you can take this and dip it in ink or paint and make and stamp circles onto your page, okay, just like this. Here's another circle, and you'll notice that this one is much thicker, so this would make a bigger, the width of your circle would be a lot bigger. This one would make a tiny, a tiny circle because it's thin. So look for caps and, um, you know, bottle caps and dif different things like that around the house. Those are found items. Here's another one. This one's a square. So you could make squares if you were doing something that had to do with squares. Here's a little Lego. You can stamp that all over your page and make cute little circles. <laughs> um, here's some, um, this is a lip gloss that I got at the Dollar Tree. There was um, two in a package and it was a heart and a star. And I thought, ooh, those are gonna make great little stamp <laughs> stamps. <laughs> These are older nouns. And so all I do is just scrape that waxy stuff out and, and wash it out and then it's perfect. And then I attached a piece of tape to the top piece and the bottom piece. So you actually end up with two. They're slightly different, um, just slightly because this one's a little bit bigger and because it fits over this one so it's kind of interesting and fun i've used these already the hearts and um i haven't used the star yet so that's uh that's something upcoming here's some other little circles you can make you can use a straw and you just dip the end of the straw in the ink or paint same thing with markers this is a marker cap that would make a circle and here's another marker I don't know if you can see that. That's, let's see, is it a hexagon? Uh, octagon. It makes an, a little octagon shape just because of the way the cap is made. So always look at your different caps and see what each end looks like. So this one is a smaller one. 
um, this one will make a circle with a dot in the middle. So it's just pays to look, you know, check it out. Here's that little button that I was telling you guys about that makes a swirl. It's a cute little swirl button and I glued it onto a cork and it makes a perfect little stamp. I absolutely love this one. Okay, so those are the types of things that you could consider found items. Also, shelf liners are great for making marks, okay? Now, this these two actually will apply to the mesh uh, prompt. So something like this is, is open and has an open weave, so it's mesh. But these are also found items. And this one is the one that has just the, the rigidy lines on it, so it makes cool little lines. You can see where I've used it before, it makes, um, it makes lines on when you dip it in paint and then stamp with it. Uh, more mesh ideas are burlap. So you've got a cool little burlap mesh. You can dip that in paint or ink and make cool marks. And this is a piece of screen, like a window screen. And it makes a tiny little mesh print when you print it. Now this one is not actually mesh to start with because it's solid, but it's got a grid on it. And it's a piece of one of those real thin uh, cutting boards that like you can get at the Dollar Tree and it's got a raised mesh on it so you could easily press that into paint and stamp it onto your page and it will make a cool little grid so it looks like you used mesh <laughs> so there's ways around everything <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to show you guys some of the some of the things that you can use if you're not familiar with found items and um so for me Gosh, I haven't even considered what I want to use. And there was also a piece of bubble wrap in here. I forgot to mention, bubble wrap is a, is a cool found item that you can you know, dip in paint and, and use. I might use that. I don't think I've used any bubble wrap in here. Nope, I don't think I have yet. But I did, um, I did have my little swirl stamp on last month's page. I actually had some swirls on my bird. And those were just little hand-drawn swirls that I had done on a when I was jelly printing or making painted papers. I don't remember which now. But um, having that swirl paper in the background was so cool because it blended and I didn't even plan it. And another thing that happened that I didn't plan was I used this little piece of gift wrap. And it has these cute little paisley looking things, which I also have on my bird. <laughs> I totally didn't put it together until way after I had made the page. So... I thought that was kind of funny and very serendipitous. So, yeah, that's fun. All right, so back to this one. Maybe I'll use this circle, this smaller circle. I'm going to try some orange ink, and let's just see if we like it. If we don't, we can always change the color, make it darker or whatever. But I was thinking up in these areas. Yeah, see, that's cool. I know you can't see that probably very well. That's cool for what, in the areas where there's no pink, I mean, uh, no orange, and there's not as much color because it's just the pink smush going on back there. So that's cool. And then you want to you wanna overlap some of your areas, some of your items that you've stuck down like this. Overlap them with your, with your stamping or your stenciling or whatever you might be doing at that, at that time. Um, it helps incorporate them into the page. So that it doesn't look like you just stuck these papers down and they just stuck there on top, right? Now it's blending those elements into the background. I just love this stuff. It's so fun. I mean, once you get started, you, you'll recognize that it's hard to stop. <laughs> Because it's so cool to have stuff like this coming off the edge of your pay page too. You want to, you want to have some of them like that. They look very natural that way. Oh, I wanted to see. If that makes a dot, I think it will. 
Maybe we'll just do a couple of those in a pink color. Let's try that. I don't think I have tried this out yet, but it appears as though it's going to make a, a dot. Oh, it does. Look. <laughs> it makes a little donut. <laughs> How fun. So now i got to do a couple of those just because. I'm not going to do as many, but I do want to do a couple. That's just fun. How cute. Hmm. Oh, that's really fun. See, I don't want to stop. Okay, I actually have a stamp that I made with a piece of the fun foam underneath. I glued a piece of burlap to the top of it. So I think I'm going to use this because I am going to make um, a flower when I use my sticky notes. So I might just put a little bit of this around the edges here and there in a green color just to um, kind of incorporate the botanical kind of thing. So I'm going to just put them here and there on the edges. So then all I'm going to do is just make the shape of the leaf like that. So it's just kind of leafy in the background. That's all that's intended for. The sticky notes are going to come into play now. And all I'm going to do is, and I'm going to, I've got the sticky part at the bottom here just so that I can use it to my advantage. <laughs> so I can place it and it'll stay put for a minute until I get ready to glue it down. But I'm just going to cut out some little flower petals. And they're sort of like a real loose heart shape. So just kind of put that here. And then I'm going to do another one kind of similarly. And these are not, you know, these are not exact and they're not intended to be. They're just loose little freehand petals. Okay, then we'll put that one here. kind of kind of gives the impression that there's a petal that's flipping upwards all right and I'm gonna take an orange marker and I'm just gonna outline these little petals and then I need a little center I was thinking I might use a piece of this brown paper that I already had a bunch of bubble wrap stamped on it. So let's see. Let's just take a piece right here. And I'm just going to make a little half circle. I'll tear out, I should say, a half, little half circle. So, maybe too much there on that end. Maybe too big. I may have to trim it down, but okay. No, I like that. That's good. Yay. All right, so that's going to be that's going to be glued in the center. 
All right, so I need to get glue on these others. And I think I'm going to just leave them where they are and pop a little bit of glue down. I mean, on the top part and then press it down. Because there's really no reason to pick it all up, right? <laughs> okay. Now, before I stick this one down, I'm going to stick the, the little flower center in there. <laughs> Love it. Okay, and I'm going to do another one. These are, these don't have the sticky on them because I'm going to use the rest of this paper. Actually, I could possibly do one here. I'm going to just do another little flower that's kind of opening over here that's not all the way opened up yet. All right, so I've added another flower over on the left side, and I put in some stems in white so that I can put the green then on top of that. And I did a little test here, and I found that the best thing uh, that's gonna work color-wise for me is this colored pencil. And I thought I might take a little bit of my pencil and possibly see how I like putting some color in these, these little leaves I made with the burlap stamp. And just kind of add a little color to the background. Yep, I think it adds a little bit, a little bit there. I was thinking I might take uh, my pink marker and color in some of these little donuts or at least scribble inside. Yeah, that's kind of fun. So I didn't want to put any pencil in there so that I wanted the marker to work properly there. I am going to put a little in the very middle there. Let's see. Yeah, that's cool. And it was, it's going to help to brighten up the um, background and give it a little bit more contrast and stuff. I think that's going to be fun. All right, there we go. Looking good. And then I think I'm going to take an orange and do something similar where the orange circles are, but maybe I'll put some, some dots in some of them.
So I'm liking that so far. It's really fun. <laughs> okay. Now I have a little piece that is going to attach the stem to the this little flower that's opening and so that's going to go there like that. Okay, and I have a tiny leaf that I'm going to put on that little tiny stem there. needs to be glued down. I think I'm going to color in a couple of these orange circles that are kind of around the outside. I was looking at um, how there's a line here, a purple line, that was on my original painted paper. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more lines like that. I'm going to use a, a gift card, and I'm just going to color the edge of the gift card with this marker, and then just make a little line here and there, just to add more texture and interest to the background. I think while I have this in my hand, I'm going to just add some little, some more little marks. That really makes a huge difference. Look at the difference between the two pages. Just adding that dark purple there just looks so nice. I love it. I think I'm going to take this same purple and go around the edges of my page just to give it a little bit of a border. So I want to put a little bit of white on my page and I'm going to do it in the form of stenciling through this piece of drywall tape. And I'm going to just get a little bit of paint on there. I don't, I don't want to put a ton of this on, but I think it needs some little pops of white and I think it's going to, it's going to look really nice. That's my hope. Here we go. Love that. Right, right up. <laughs> Yep, love it. All right, and so the last thing that I'm going to be putting on my page is some words. I'm going to put a little quote here and I don't have that ready just yet, but I will show you that in the picture that I'll put up right when we close out. 
So this is going to take care of this month's page, you guys, with these prompts. And I absolutely had a blast. I love, love, love this page. I love the colors. I love everything about it. <laughs> it just made me so happy to be able to play and do this. So I highly recommend it. And um, I'm, as always, looking forward to seeing your pages in the Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group. So until the next time, you guys, take care, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.